It's Brett here, just letting people know about my recent solar lithium install on my Ragoon 450S cruising catamaran. Components have been supplied by Bruce from Safari in the Gold Coast and installation completed by Graham at Allcraft Marine Electrical here in Sydney. Starting off with the solar, I have five 400 watt sun power panels. These are pretty high efficiency panels, each producing about 75 volts. They're connected in parallel with cabling running through the previous nav light installation through the roof cavity down to one of the cabins. The nav light's been moved to the centre rear panel. The panels have been installed on a dedicated stainless steel arch which provides additional rain and shade and has been attached to the boat without any additional fibreglass penetrations. Moving down to the cabin you'll see five 48 volt lithium batteries. Each battery is 2200 watts connected by CAN bus and uh, internal BMSs on the batteries. The batteries are electrically connected to a Lynx distribution system by individual battery isolators. Also connected to the Lynx is the MPPT, an inverter, and Scotty, which is the orange box on the right. Scotty is a bi directional 48 volt to 12 volt converter supplying normal 12 volt loads to the belt such as refrigeration, navigation and lighting. Alternates are also connected to this as well, so any excess power goes back through the Scotty, comes out as 48 volts and is stored in the batteries. How good is that? Now moving across to the monitoring side of things, we've got the standard turbo there, all components are monitored there, GX light for VRM monitoring via the, uh, the web, and below those, the 48 volt 5000 watt MultiPlus 2 inverter. The solar is controlled by one MPPT, a 150-45, and you'll see there the double pole breaker there for the solar array. The GX display is mounted in the standard position as all the other electrical component controls in the lagoon. And you can see here the battery state at the moment is 94%. Solar is putting in about 1,650 watts and no AC loads and very light DC loads. Solar has peaked at around about 2100 watts with 74 volts. So that's giving me full battery state by mid-morning. So now I'm looking for some extra AC loads such as induction cooking and an AC water maker. So thanks very much to Bruce from Safari for supplying this system and to Graham from Allcraft Marine Electrical for a very neat installation. Yes, Bruce from Safari, and we're going to look at the real um, data online here now for the uh, lagoon, and here we are, this is live right now. You can see here the solar putting out the 1664 watts, it's 2000 watts of solar up there, and it's about 1021 Sydney time, 921 real time. Um, the batteries are at 96% charging away, so I would expect this battery will be full here probably before 11 o'clock. Um, now let's just close this down, or actually while we're here, let's go back and have a look at some other data here. Um, so we do have the tanks on board this uh, lagoon, uh, and some of them are yet to be commissioned yet. Um, we can see we've got LPG, we've got the holding tanks, and we've got the um, uh, freshwater tanks as well. Uh, if we go up and look at the solar here now, uh, the big advantage of the solar, so he's produced 45 kilowatt hours since this was uh, commissioned. Uh, the big advantage of the solar here is the daily history. Now, the big advantage of this is that uh, it doesn't lie, and it tells me the number of hours of solar yield that we had in a day uh, that it was running for. So yesterday was 13 hours and 24 minutes, and you can see there the PV is running at 73 volts. The secret here is the very high PV. Uh, it has peaked at over 2,000 watts um, and you can see here yesterday the production was low because the batteries got full quite quickly um, and uh, we just have a look at the day before that and uh, so you can see here similar 13 hours 30 minutes so you only get that long uh, period of time when you have a high PV uh, and, um, and that means you're capturing, cat you're capturing the solar early in the morning when the panels are cooler and you can get over the rated capacity uh, coming into the boat. Now let's just have a look at the history here. Let me close that down and uh, this is a 30-day history that's where the boat is right now we won't go there for privacy reasons 
Um, and this is since it was commissioned back in on the 15th of October. And there's the solar uh, performance there. Uh, one thing that you'll see on the solar performance, if I just zoom in on this a little bit, is you'll see that the solar turns off during the day here because the batteries are full and then it has this little peak in the afternoon and that's our little secret source that we add in in Safari where we do a, uh, a multiple rebulk here and it just uh, gives a shot back in here um, on, uh, on bulk but you can see his battery, batteries were right up here at 100% anyway and uh, so you can see here that's the battery voltage and it's peaking up here turning off into float mode here and then getting these three little peaks that we just saw. Um, now we'll just reset that back to the 30 days and we'll just look at, uh, at what uh, Scotty's done So because um, he's been uh, actively sailing. So I'm coming down here to the DC load. So let's have a look at this period here from here to here. And uh, this is coming out of the old motors of the engine. So you see here we've got a peak down here of just over two kilowatts uh, from the alternators um, on uh, both engines. Um, that could have been just a slow down and speed a bit and then up again. And so between that period of time there, the battery stayed a charge. You can see here this huge jump. You can see it on the, on the graph above. So it went from 77% um, up to 98% here. And uh, then it was finished off by the solar. So that big jump in power there is because of Scotty uh, coming off the alternator solar. Although the solar is good, when you've got poor weather, this is an absolute godsend uh, to have that coming up. Uh, the output power here, I'm going to also just reset this uh, to the last uh, two days um, because Brett's told me that he's wound up the uh, output power uh, quite uh, significantly last night with everything running. I uh, don't see quite so much there, but that was, uh, uh, here we are, there it is there. 2784, he said he went up to 4500 watts. So there may be, these are 15 minute intervals, and I've just uh, said show us the range here. We're not seeing anything quite as high there, but uh, this uh, boat can go comfortably up to just under 5000. Uh, VA. Now with Victron inverters you can do 30% over for 30 minutes so that's why we tend to say a 5000 VA inverter is 5000 watts because that delta difference between the two you can comfortably do for 30 minutes anyway, 30% over uh, and you'll get an alert and then the alert will, uh, alert will come off. So looking overall at the battery state of charge here um, over that period of time there, uh, here we are here you can see that in the last uh, couple of days, he's living on board, it's gone, uh, battery's gone down to 76%, and then it's quickly going back up again. So, and there it's absolutely full. So, um, this is a, a, a beautiful example of a high energy retrofit in a lagoon. Thank you. How good's that?